Hello Capricorn, welcome to your weekly psychic tarot reading. Welcome to my channel, Wing Spiritual Clarity. My name is Wendy Wing. So this is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Cross watchers are welcome. Anybody is welcome. This is a general reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. If you'd like a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below. It takes you right to my book online page. It's been so much fun meeting so many of you in that one-on-one -on -one space. So, all right, Capricorn, let's get to the most important messages that you need for this week. In the past, we've got the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. instability, insecurity with home and health and finances, a lack of resources. I mean, it feels like you've lost your mojo. Um, feels like you're nurturing everyone around you but not nurturing yourself. Yes. I with the Ace of Cups and the Five of uh, Pentacles in reverse, it looks like you were really needing to learn how to love yourself. Love yourself and not abandon yourself. Feels like in the past you had this belief, if I could, if I can heal, it's a bit of a wounded healer energy here. If I could heal everybody in my environment, then once they're feeling better, then I will feel better. So it, you could be an empath. A lot of empaths do that and start out in childhood in very toxic environments, trying to heal their parents, trying to heal and ground everybody in their environment, trying to soften things, trying to heal, trying to be the peacekeeper. So it looks like you might have learned how, it's like, I, I need to keep everybody calm. I need to make everybody happy in the environment so then I can finally be at peace so I can feel safe. It looks like you're in the past when we're tuning in here, you're realizing that trying to heal everybody in your environment so then you can feel safe is just not the way to go about it. It left you um, unloved and abandoned. So you really needed, you really, yeah, and I think this blew your mind. I mean, you were very dedicated to trying to heal everybody in the, your environment. And when it didn't lead to the outcome you expected, you being beloved, you being loved and cherished, there's this realization that this is really toxic. I'm, I, I've got some toxic beliefs. Uh, I don't believe that I'm worthy and valuable just as I am. I feel like I have to do and constantly help others so I feel worthy and valuable. It looks like there are a lot of beliefs in the past that you... Um, when you built your foundation on the beliefs that you have to heal everybody and you make it kind of like your job to low-key heal everybody fix a fix it fixer i'm fixing everyone then you're constantly being depleted you're not giving to yourself and i think this foundation it blew your mind when you realize it's that way of being does not work all right in present energy capricorn we have the hanged man looks like you're being put in a position where you can't move maybe health or it feels like the universe is putting you on pause so you could see something see where you are burdening yourself where you're carrying the other people's energy and you're wanting to find peace and move to calmer grounds 
you might be an empath, an unhealed empath. I think that's the second time I've said that in this reading. And you're caring. It's like you're trying to heal other people's energy in your space. And that's just not how it's done. How you heal others is by healing yourself, by setting the example in your energy of how to run your energy and giving people back their energy so they can heal themselves. You might be exhausted right now too, physically, just, just exhausted. And that's why you're being put in that hanged man position to realize what's not yours. Wow. It looks like you've got karma on your side. You're healing. It's hard right now to keep your energy consistent. So you might be experiencing um, some back and forth as you release what no longer serves you. And then it feels like you pop up and you feel good. And when your vibration rises and you feel really good, then at that higher vibration, at that brighter light, then you're able to perceive things that were hidden to you at a lower vibration. And, and so then you start kind of, um, I think you're not realizing that you are clearing a lot, that when your vibration rises, now you can see more, now you can perceive more. And that does, so you are perceiving more blocks and more fears coming up, but that doesn't mean that that's the truth, that now I've got fear. You've always had that fear. Now you can just see it. Now you can see the pain. Now you can see the woundedness. I think you're being really hard on yourself with um, the inconsistent energy. And I think it's also confusing you a bit instead of realizing that um, this is a natural part of ascension, that's okay, that I'm okay. It looks like you're clearing out a lot of dependency, um, maybe codependency issues, depending on others, needing others, needing, need where you need others and are attached you might have attachment issues you're working on this is a lot of a lot of shifting in this environment if you knew that you were going to succeed would that help you kind of smooth out and not put so much pressure on yourself if you knew i'm going to get i'm going to heal i'm going to heal this can i can I enjoy the process a little more? Something like that. All right, Capricorn, what's coming up? Oh, I'm just getting, we're in Capricorn season right now. Happy birthday to somebody, to all of you out there. Hope you're having a great birthday month. All right, so what's hidden this week is the Three of Wands. Waiting. Wow, clarified by the Three of Wands and the Five of Cups in reverse. It looks like you're, you're waiting to heal from grief and mourning. Some of you might still be very, very focused in the past. Wanting to let go or not knowing or kind of like in that in between. Some of you are like, but maybe what if this person changes? I think you've waited enough. I think what's hidden is you, you've you waited. You've waited for people to change. You've been on pause and you've put other people ahead of you
Only you can decide when you've had enough. Only you can decide when this isn't working and I've had a, too much pain. I, I don't want this anymore. Um, others could want this for you. Others could want you to get out of this grieving mode and get out of being stuck in the past. Doesn't matter. It's up to you. Also, if you're trying to ask others to make the decision for you, that doesn't work. It feels like you're kind of stuck in, in waiting. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for something to change. I'm waiting and the change has to come from, the call has to come from within the house. When you're tired of, and, and you've, you've hit that point where you realize I've had enough. I, I don't want this anymore. I don't want the burdens of this anymore. Then, then you'll make big changes. Then you'll start making changes. So, all right, Capricorn, in the possible outcome this week, we have justice, fair, looking at things. Ooh. There's some hopelessness and an inability to walk away from something that's emotionally unsatisfying. Feels like I'm tuning it. Yeah, there's a lack of transformation in this person, in this connection, in whatever this is that it feels like you're holding on to. It feels like um, you don't believe that you can do it by yourself. And again, the hanged man, it looks like you are being put in a position where you can't move. Maybe the exhaustion, maybe sickness, something. So you can't move because I'm. what I'm gathering is that by continuing on and doing things the way you do every day, you're not leaving any space for new ideas to come in, a new perspective to come in. You're just very sure of what you think it is that you want and what you need and what your path is. And it looks like once you take care of yourself, once you ground and you're not overwhelmed by your emotions, then you're able to see things and allow in a new opportunity, a new idea for lasting love and it doesn't look like the the picture that you have because the picture that you've been working um doesn't really work it's trying to fix everybody in your environment trying to make yourself needed by others so they won't leave you so you might have some attachment issues instead of just knowing your own worth so, all right, Capricorn, that's your reading. I hope that was helpful. Take care. Bye.